Hey guys and girls, it is Ash Wendy again, and um, welcome to episode 38 of a Moab with every gun. Yeah, we've made it to level 38, and yeah, again, it is another pistol. You guys know I've only got a couple of pistols and sniper rifles left to upload, and you'll be happy to know that I have actually now completed this series. Um, I got the AS50 Moab, which was the last one I needed to get the other day. I did it completely solo on Bakara, so that will I'm going to make that my last upload, I think. To end with the sniper rifle will be pretty good, but you can see this one is with the P99, and this is, I was really happy when I got this one, this is as clutch as you can get, I'm sure you've seen clutch Moabs all over YouTube, but probably none as clutch as this, honestly, I get the final kill, and you will see how close I was to dying before I got it, um, but yeah, the P99, I'm using extended mags, I'll quickly tell you about my class, using extended mags, obviously I've got sit rep pro, because this is hardcore again, and unfortunately I'm, I'm having to use scavenger, because I don't want any kills with any other weapon, so I'm having to use scavenger rather than sleight of hand. Because I am a bit of a sleight of a hand. Well, can't even speak. Bit of a sleight of hand whore. I I really can't do without sleight of hand. Once you get used to certain perks, you're like, oh shit, I really missed that perk. So yeah, I I actually really do need sleight of hand. So it t takes a bit of getting used to for me to use scavenger. Um, but I don't have to do these anymore. This I've finished. I've honestly finished this series. So. I'm going to be uploading them probably Mondays and Wednesdays. Obviously, Flawless Friday is for Flawless Gameplays. And I don't think I've got any Flawless Gameplays with the rest of these guns that I need to do. But yeah, uploading them Monday and Wednesdays just to get them out of the way before Black Ops 2 comes out. And I'm absolutely ecstatic to finish this series. Um, to be honest, I, a couple of months ago I was thinking I'm not going to be able to do this. Because um, some guns were just really pissing me off. But once you start playing decently with them, you'll be like, yes... I can do this and this one I was rushing as much as I can and as you can see I am completely using support again which I usually do on hardcore because it's a lot easier um, because you've got a vest there when you need it which is vests in this game mode are, are a godsend they honestly are they will save your life so many times as you can see here and they do get your health back up because you can get shot in hardcore which is a bit bollocks you get hit markers and then you'll see a red screen and it will stay red screen until you die or until you get a ballistic vest again. Like you'll see, got a bit of a red screen and it will stay like that until I pick a vest up or something. Um, but anyway, this weekend I was watching the football and stuff. You guys know I'm a massive Leeds United fan. Obviously I can't play anymore. But Leeds won, which was obviously a great thing. But the best thing was that Man United lost. And I know I've got some fans that are Man United who support Man United, but... To see them lose is absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved it. I Spurs. If I had to pick a, if I had to pick any Premiership team at the minute, I my my Premiership team are Spurs purely because they used to nick all the Leeds players. Like they have Aaron Lennon now. They had Paul Robinson. They had Johnny Woodgate. Um, but yeah, they used to nick all the Leeds players. So that's why they are my Premiership team. But I was chuffed to bits that they beat Man United. And yesterday, oh my God, it was so epic. I don't know if you guys follow golf or anything, but I was watching the Ryder Cup. And if you don't know what the Ryder Cup is, it is pretty much USA versus the whole of Europe. I don't know how it came about or anything, um, but yesterday had to be the best one that I've ever seen. Europe were 10-6 down and obviously getting spanked really. And it went into the singles and I was just biting my nails for like 6-7 hours watching the whole thing. I was like, oh my god, this can't, this can't be happening. Are Europe actually going to bring it back? And they did. They were 10-6 down. They needed to get to 14 points just to retain it because it, then it would be 14 all. Um, and they did it, and it was like, what? This is absolutely amazing. I can't believe this shit. can't believe what I'm watching. And did bring a tear to my eye, because um, all the uh, European guys were getting all emotional, because one of the, one of the best-loved golfers died, sadly. He passed away last year, and everyone was thinking of him. So it was pretty nice, and uh, the, the Americans were really humble and stuff, and the American commentators were really humble, and it was good to see. It was good to see, and um, it was, yeah... I, if you don't like golf, then if you'd have watched that, I'm sure you would have changed your mind. It's great to play, and stuff like that is absolutely great to watch um, because it's team based. Where, um, whereas when they play normally, they're on the road and they're out for themselves. But here you can see in this game, I'm absolutely rushing my ass off right now. I'm like, shit, I'm getting close. And you'll see me killing these guys. I'm thinking, fuck, the time's running out. You can hear the clock ticking down. I need to get these kills. Bosh, bosh. Shit, I can't even. I don't even have time to reload. And this is the clutch moment. Look at that. Boom! Get the Moab. Get it. Fucking get it. That is as clutch as you can get. I know I don't call it in, but it definitely counts, guys. I've asked all round this counts. If you look at Jay Nasty's, like he's had quad Moabs and stuff, he doesn't call them all in. Insomulus has had a double team deathmatch Moab. He only got to call one in. 
and he counts that as a, as a double. So I'm counting this one, guys. Plus, I think it was pretty epic to see how clutch it was there. And the final kill was pretty nice as well, killing a camper with a fucking sniper rifle from miles away with a pistol. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. You'll see the next few over the next couple of weeks. Um, have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye for now.